the Breeders' Crown mare trot is back after an eight-year hiatus. Stroke play looks for a second consecutive crown victory. The feel-good story of the race, Del Martha, third at two, second at three. She'll try to win it at age four. Off and trotting and Armbrol Fair steps out there sharply for Pierce along with Scully FBI. Towards the inside comes Gypsy Balance in third as a Lost Lady One settles in fourth around the first turn. And it's Pierce with Armbrol Fair to the top under minimal whip urging there. Here comes Scully FBI and Dubay to challenge early as they head to the quarter. Gypsy Balance is third. Those three on a breakaway. Gap of three lengths. Lost Lady One getting whip taps to keep pace here in fourth. Followed by on the inside a Sunday Yankee fifth and then it's Stroke play, the heavy favorite is sixth past the opening quarter, and Del Martha trails seventh, 28 and one. It's a dawdling clip here, and it's Scully FBI taking over. Scully FBI jammed up in the pocket there, and now pulling out and reclaiming his arm roll fair. Pierce back to the top with Armbro Fair. So that will give Scully FBI a pocket trip here. Gypsy balances third. The Catman commits now first over with Lost Lady one. And picking up that cover Sunday Yankee second over for Campbell. And tracking that one will be stroke play. She'll be third over past the half. And then it's Del Martha. The half was 56 and two fifths, 28 and one in that second quarter. Armbro Fair locking up with Lost Lady one. Pierce and the Catman going at it on the far turn. Perfect trip here for Sunday Yankee. Campbell tracks second over now third on the outside as uh, gapping the pocket there is a scully fbi jammed up behind her as gypsy balance uh, stroke play is being asked to pick it up here and get in gear from the back of the pack it's del martha trying to roll a long way to come three quarters one twenty four and four and they're into the stretch of the breeders crown mare trot on the inside it's arm roll fair and pierce trying to keep her going on the inside arm roll fair right there's lost lady one in the cat man threatening late all out of sunday yankee stroke play on the outside, doesn't have it. Gypsy Balance diving to the inside, but no racing room. Armbrol Fair, Pierce all over her. Armbrol Fair, and Pierce does it again. It's Armbrol Fair. Another heavy favorite goes down to defeat. Granted, the fractions were a tad slow, but the talented stroke play was flat, while Pierce kept Armbrol Fair alive on the front end for his third victory of the day. Trainer Bob McIntosh earns his 14th Breeders' Crown Trophy and surpasses $5 million in crown earnings. The cash all connections cash in. The Ron Pierce for President write-in votes are pouring in, and Bob McIntosh expected a good effort well you know I just I had a really good feeling tonight um, we've kind of she trained good down all winter and we were these age trotting mares uh, you just got to aim them at certain events and uh, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't but tonight it worked out that she was kind of aimed at this event and uh, Ron appears to give her a great drive and uh, the mare was sharp tonight everything worked out right but she came with a big effort but uh, it's not I just had a I had a strange suspicion tonight that she came up with a big effort I notice in her line she's got two races against male competition. Is that by design? No, there's no option up in uh, Toronto. There's no uh, the mare's open doesn't fail usually, so she has to race against the boys. But uh, you know, she's raced very good. She set a track record at Hazel Park her first start this year and raced good in Toronto. And uh, she was coming down here in great shape. So I just I don't know. I just had a good gut feeling about this. How about you feeling about Cash Hall? How's he doing? Real good. I was more nervous tonight than I will be before the final probably. And. Uh, Sometimes eliminations are harder than the final, and uh, I thought he tried really good this week, and I think he'll be even better next week. Is it too premature to say that Cash Hall is over his problems at the gate? Oh, it's a work in progress. I mean, he's, uh, he was better tonight, and I think he's going to get better every start, but he's still relatively a green horse.